All right, so Alfred, we are here on the red carpet. It's the Los Angeles Asian Film Festival, one of the biggest festivals. How cool is it to be here? I know you've been here before, but it's a great night. Dude, I'm very excited. You know, um, actually, I've been traveling and working a lot in Asia for the past four years. I'm super, super excited to be back in LA. Um, I remember being with you and like just uh, just right down there. You know, we were interviewing. I was interviewing um, Kung Lee for Bodyguards and Assassins. That was like six or seven years ago. So it's it's. It's awesome, yeah. So I know you've been traveling, doing martial arts, doing different things. How, like, what are some of the places you've been to? What are some of the cool places you've been to and the great things you've seen? Okay, well, the coolest thing that I've seen and done recently, uh, I worked on a Jackie Chan uh, movie called Dragon Blade. We shot it in the Gobi Desert. I was out there for four months. Um, crazy, like, the sun is out for, like, 15 hours. So that's great for filmmakers because a lot of light. Yeah. But for the, like, I was part of the stunt team, uh, so means like long hours, a lot of hard work, but it was amazing. Um, the cast includes uh, Jackie Chan, John Cusack, Adrian Brody, all of which like I got to work with and be really like, you know, kind of we all became close throughout the shoot. I was there for four months. Um, yeah, I've just never seen like, as far as like the eye can see, it's just all desert. So it was like, everything was practical that we did out there, like pretty much very little, you know, no special effects really, like we're riding horses, getting shot off, you know, like swords and, you know, obviously the swords are, are safety, you know, like they, they've been checked, but it's still like people are like attacking you and like, there's like, uh, we've had sets where, uh, days where there's like 600, 700 extras, like all in like armor and gear on set, so it's, it was amazing. And, and what was it like being around Jackie Chan? I mean, he's like a legend. I mean, what was it like just being in the same vicinity, especially for what you do? That's probably like one of the guys you look up to. Well, I got to say that he's one of the, like, you know, the, the first action, like, you know, actor that I, I watched growing up. He basically got me into martial arts, you know, um, and, and that led to so many things in my life. It opened so many doors. So it was an honor to work with him. And I'll just say that for the most part, like, you know, obviously the people's like TV or movie personalities are a little bit different, but he's like 95% the exact same person, super uh, energetic, he'll come up to, like, he'll come up to anyone and he'll act like a, you know, he'll act like an AD who's like, oh here, like, have some water, like here, you know, do this, like, he'll be like, oh excuse me, like, helping out on set, even when he's not shooting, he'll be like, dusting something in the background or help create, like, smoke and atmosphere and he tells the best stories, so it was... It was so awesome. All right, so Jackie Chan film, brand new one, got to check it out. And to take us out, you got to like show us something. I know you can't kick and do all this stuff because there's so much, but can you show us like a punch? Like what's a good punch? Like if somebody's coming at you. Okay, okay. Well, I've, I've recently been, I mean, I've been, I've been watching some Bruce Lee films because i uh, do, doing a little research for some future projects actually. And uh, a very simple but basic punch that he, he kind of does. And it's, it's from Wing Chun, which is like style of martial arts that he learned before he developed Jeet Kune Do. It's basically like let's say uh, let's say you like let's say this is a, a fist coming in like that. He go he just goes like this. He just parries it like that. Okay. It's just like I'm not gonna do that again because that hurt. But now I learned. <laughs> <laughs> but I was watching his uh, his like his old old videos. Like he was there's a, doing a screen test for I think the Green Hornet. Yeah. And I mean he just was so accurate and he, the the speed that he that he moved was amazing that he's so still, still like unparalleled to this day you know well great time man good seeing you again have a great time inside all right thank you thank you guys